So here's a real good example of water trapped behind your basement wall and it has no place to go. So what it does is it builds up pressure and it starts to push through the wall and you can see it just spitting out right through the block, right through the mortar. And of course, if there's no sump pump in the basement, this water is going to flood. There's no drain. So in your basement under the floor and behind the wall, water is building up. If you look carefully, you'll see the floor where it meets the clay and you'll see the water just pushing through that clay. This water must be removed in order for you to have a dry basement. So to remedy this problem, the first thing we need to do is cut the floor and dig a sump basin, an area deep enough to put a sump pump and a sump pit. Next we need to cut along the basement wall for a footer tile. Footer tiles drain the block wall. If you look underneath of this particular floor, you'll notice that there is no block wall. They just built the block wall on top of the cement floor. This system will still work. We just need to put gravel perforated pipe and let that lead to our sump pump. You can see our footer tile that runs into the sump pump. This tile actually is perforated and what it does is it picks up the water under the floor and just helps it get down into the sump pit. The four inch, four inch pipe and as the water moves under the floor, under this block wall, under the floor, it'll enter our system. The sump pump lifts it up and you can see it plums it right out through the wall. Okay, so we've got our footer tile installed, gravel perforated pipe. Remember that this is a crawl space. Let me step back. This is a crawl space that has been dug out, and you can see there's you know, particle board. That's, there's just air behind that. The crawl space dirt is actually at the level of the top of the block. They've dug out the cellar to create the basement. And what that means is that there is no footer for this block wall. This just sits on the concrete. Really not the greatest you know, construction. Um, what we've done is we've went ahead and cut a section out, perforated pipe surrounded by gravel, goes over here to the sump pump, lifts it up, plumbs it out through the wall, goes out through the crawl space wall. So lastly, we're going to add the concrete back to the floor. You'll notice that we've got a piece of plastic that covers the gravel that helps keep the moisture you know, from rising up into the floor. Concrete put back, some pump installed, and plumbed out through the foundation wall. The system should help dry out this basement. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. So here's our sump pit installed. You can see we brought that back up to grade here. And we've got our Zoller M53 inside, check valve, comes up, comes through the wall and goes out. We're gonna put the lid on it and we're done.